Hello, I am Yannick Moy and I work at EduCore. Welcome to the first installment of this new Find the Bugs series. During this demo, I will show you a small piece of code containing bugs, and I will present the results of our tool could appear on this code. Here you can see our IDE, Unite Programming Studio, presenting a very simple project consisting in just one package called Contacts. This package defines queries for a minimal database of contacts. Here is the body for this package, and that's all. You can pause now if you want and go to our website www.edocore.com to try to find the bug yourself. Otherwise, let's call cut peer on this code. It returns in a few seconds with a summary of the problems found. Here, it reports two high ranked warnings and two medium ranked ones. All these warnings are listed in the location view below the code pane. When I click on the first one, GPS shows the corresponding code. In this first warning, code peer reports that procedure complete is called in an improper context where c.phone is uninitialized. Looking at procedure complete, we can ask GPS to show the annotations inferred by code peer. Here it says that c.phone should be initialized prior to the call. Looking at the implementation of procedure complete, we see indeed that c.phone is read each time the loop is entered. Returning to the initial call, c being the second parameter of procedure complete, it corresponds to local variable result here, whose field phone is not initialized prior to the call. Let's give a default value to this field. In the second warning, which happens to be on the same line, Code peer reports that out parameter done might be still in uninitialized after the call to procedure complete. Done is the third parameter of procedure complete, which corresponds to local variable found, which is read just after the call, so it should be initialized by the call. Again, looking at the annotations inferred by code peer for procedure complete, it says that done might be initialized by the call, but not always. Looking at the implementation, we see that done it is initialized only when a matching contact is found. Let's give an initialized value to done for the case that no matching contact is found. In the third warning, which is similar to the first warning, code peer reports that procedure complete is called in an improper context, where this time c dot name length is uninitialized. Again, looking at the contract for procedure complete, reveals that c.name length should be initialized prior to the call. And looking at the implementation, shows that c.name length is read each time the loop is entered. So returning to the call, we give a proper value to results.name length. The fourth warning is the same as the second one, only for a different call. Since we already corrected procedure complete, we have nothing else to do. Let's rerun code peer now on the corrected code. This time it returns with no warning. Good job! So if you enjoyed this demo, please go to our website www.adocore.com to see what else code peer can do for you. Thanks.